Mastro and San Daniele believe that good food deserves great friends. And today we're going to show you a few simple ideas using Italian style deli meats that you can discover and share with your friends and family. In order to make a good carbonara, I would use pancetta, which is a little different from bacon. It's an Italian style bacon, and instead of it being smoked, it's cured. There's a couple of ways you can find it in the supermarket. One being a flat piece like this, which has basically the streaks of bacon, or you can actually find it rolled behind the deli counter. For convenience, you can actually find them cubed now as well, which is really easy to use. Some really good Parmigiano Reggiano, very important that it's aged so you get a nice sharpness and a grainy texture. Lots of Parmigiano uh, goes a long way in this recipe. Eggs, some onions, garlic, salt, and pepper. And my little secret with a little bit of butter. While my pasta is boiling, I get a pan, set that at medium high on a stove, and I start with my pancetta. If you notice, I did not put any olive oil because I like the pancetta. It's a fatty, little bit of a fatty product, so you're going to get a nice, you know, sizzle when you're uh, when it's on the stove. Stir that in on its own for a bit. Some nice color to it. Then I'm going to add about half a shallot and a clove of garlic. Pinch of salt. You don't want to put too much salt. The pancetta is a tad salty on its own. And some, a little bit of cracked pepper. Give that a nice stir. Starting to get the nice aromas of the pancetta with the onions and the garlic. Then what I like to do is take a knob of butter. Just throw that in. And what this does, it gives everything a nice golden color. I'm going to just mix that in a little bit. I'd reduce the heat to about a medium right now, because very important that the pasta is done at the same time the carbonara sauce is. So you want the pasta to be really hot when you mix everything else in. Mm. Okay, perfect. So that's done. So what I'm gonna do now is take the pasta and mix all that in into the pan. And it's okay if there's a little bit of the water from the pasta, it keeps everything nice and runny. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Parmigiano cheese. Nice generous amount. You can use as much as you want. Depends on how cheesy you like your carbonara. I'm going to give that a quick little whirl. And take my eggs. This is very important that the pan's hot, passes hot, and the eggs go right in at the end. And as soon as you dump that in, you will want to immediately start stirring that around and cooking everything in the egg. creamy glazed texture with the bacon and the onions all mixed in. It smells delicious. Essentially, you want to serve pasta carbonara right out of the pan and into your plate, nice and hot. You have it. Pasta la carbonara. Mm. So simple, yet so delicious.